<laughs> oh, you might have startled me a little. Welcome to the Veggie Nerd. My name is Eric. Today I've been doing experiments with food dye. And I've come to find out that stuff you buy in the store isn't quite what needs to die. It's all full of stuff that you couldn't even imagine. So, the thought came to me. Wouldn't it be fun to make my own? You think so? Would you like to make some with me? Yeah? Great. Well, let's let the fun begin. <laughs> <laughs> there are two main ways to make natural food dyes that are safe to be used in food. Liquid dyes and powdered dyes. This video will mostly focus on liquid dyes due to their relative ease of use. Here are the ingredients we will need for our experiments. Red cabbage cut into large chunks, baking powder, blackberries, turmeric, my personal favorite seasoning. It has my name in it, Tarum Eric, <laughs> get it? And that's all we will need to make our primary colors. I will also be using raspberries, spinach, beets, blueberries, and carrots in this video. Now I know what you might be thinking, that these food dyes might make your food taste a little weird. But don't worry, these food dyes will have no effect on the flavor of your food. To start out, place cabbage chunks in a sauce pot. Cover with water and bring to a simmer. Allow this to cook for 20 to 30 minutes. Strain carefully and allow to cool. We've just successfully made purple food dye. Simple, but we need blue food dye as part of our primary colors. Just add a little bit of baking soda and presto, we have blue. Add each ingredient separately and one at a time to a food processor with a bit of water and process well to create a liquid. Strain the resulting liquid through a fine mesh strainer. For finer ingredients such as turmeric, use a coffee filter or a cheesecloth. Our blackberries create our red color, while our turmeric creates yellow. With these three colors, you can make any color. Color mixing, red with yellow gets orange, yellow with blue gets green, and red with blue gets purple. Though, you can also just save some of your initial red cabbage liquid to have purple. Blueberries are also a good way to make a purple color. Our spinach makes green, and our beets, as well as raspberries, make a pink color. These liquids can be reduced in a saucepan on top of the stove to make them stronger. The more you use, the stronger the color you'll get. And finally, we'll talk about dehydration. Cut vegetables thinly and place them on a parchment-lined sheet pan. Put them in the oven at a very low temperature. In they go! Around 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I personally put my gas stove as low as it could go. Allow these to rest in the oven for upward to two hours. If you have a dehydrator, this will work great too. Grind them up with a mortar and pestle or a coffee grinder. Dry ingredients can be added to wet recipes without adjusting liquids. Rehydrate similar to how we did our turmeric to create a liquid again. Thank you for checking out this special video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you'd like to support the Veggie Nerd, make sure you thumbs this video up, share with your friends on social media, and make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell button down below. That way you can keep up to date with all my future uploads. Once again, thanks for watching and have a great day.